This video is going to show you how we landed this fish. With this video, we're going to show you how to approach a fishing spot on a trout stream. We are using the Rapala Countdown CD7 rainbow style. When you fish a trout stream, you always want to fish while you are walking upstream. Even if you have to walk downstream first, you want to fish against the current. The fish are pointed upstream so they cannot see you approach. The area that is the furthest point we can see in the video is the best potential fishing spot. We are currently in the least productive part of this stretch of water. It's still worth a cast or two, but it's likely to produce a fish other than a trout. This is prime water for creek chubs, sunfish, and tiny smallmouth bass, or even a rare pickerel. We're going to give it a few casts because you never know. If you notice these casts are very precise, they are to an exact spot and usually inches from the far shore. These casts aren't just random. I pick a place and I cast to that exact spot. I like to imagine a bucket and imagine casting right into it. Aim small, miss small should be your motto for casting. As predicted, we didn't have any success in the backwater, so we're going to move upstream in small increments. It's very tempting to rush up to the best spot, but that is short-sighted. You want to maximize every opportunity. One thing I'll mention now is how I almost always retrieve my lure with the current. I could ask a thousand fishermen how they fish, and I would get a thousand say they cast downstream at a 45 degree angle and retrieve. I'm going to tell you that if you want to catch more fish, you will retrieve with the current. Look for more videos on this topic because I feel like you can increase your catch by as much as 300%. I consistently outcatch all my fishing companions by fishing with the current while they fish against the current. This area is slow so it's not a huge difference, but in another video I'll show you how you can do it in raging water and pull trout nobody else is catching. When I have a wide open spot like this that is very still, I don't like to pound one area. I like to spread my cast around but always return to each spot for a second cast. A fish may have followed or been interested the first time and now he is on alert and waiting. The second cast to a particular spot is as productive as the first, but after that your chances are very slim. When people don't catch, catch fish, I hear them say things like, the fish weren't biting or I didn't have the right lure. That's usually nonsense. You can only catch what is there. If there's no fish to be caught, then you're not going to catch anything. So you can't always blame your technique, the weather, fish aren't biting, or your lure selection. Now as you can see, we have a fish on. We've got ourselves a really large brown trout for this time of the year in this size stream. He's certainly been here for a few months and possibly more than a year, which is very satisfying compared to catching a freshly stocked fish. We're going to work on getting him in getting a quick photograph, and then setting him free. Thanks for watching the video, and please check out our website, besttroutlures.com.